And Alana is really special because Alana was born at 24 weeks and weighed one pound, seven ounces at birth. And so my experiences with her SOP um, pretty much made me passionate about speech language pathology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you can never tell now. Yeah. Because they said she'd have, you know, multiple handicaps and they said that she'd um, be blind, deaf, you know, learning disabled. I've loved most of my classes. My primary interests are feeding and swallowing, um, early intervention, and autism. And so I really enjoy my clinical experiences that are related to that, you know. And so um, in the program, you have four clinical experiences, and you have classes every semester, and then the first semester, no clinical experience. So my most rewarding experience was over the summer when I had a placement that dealt with children with autism. And so at UNC, um, one thing that I really love about the program is that they do have so many unique clinical experiences. And so we don't have an in-house clinic. And so all of our clinical placements are outside of the university or at UNC hospitals or Durham or Raleigh. And so it gives you the chance to get a, ride, a wider range of experiences, not just you know from UNC. And different settings, a school setting, hospital setting, um, daycare setting. So that's been really good. But I always say that students that have families and students that have multiple obligations are really good at time management. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's why we are able to have all the responsibilities that we have, you know, and still be successful. Because you have to study at a set time, you know, and clean the house at a set time. You don't really have flexibility to do what you want to do when you want to do it. So. And it definitely transfers, um, you know, from personal life to clinical experiences. Because when you have patients, you need to make sure you give them therapy at a set amount of time, write your notes, and be ready for the next patient, and be efficient. So that's really important, you know. Yeah. Mommy, what? And so you said, you what would I tell students that were going to go into? If they were thinking about it, like what would what would you tell them? Well, I think I'd tell them that speech language pathology is a very good field and you can work with adults or children. And I'd tell them that um, there's so many different settings and so much flexibility. And um, I'd probably say that um, they need to be passionate about something, but even if they're not, they can start the field and find their passion, you know? Because a lot of people come into SLP and just know that they want to do something in the field but then they find the one thing they're passionate about and change the world. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs>